Hey, welcome back Design Squad. It's another Design Tool Tuesday. And I'm gonna start with this question. Have you ever went through a lot of different free stock photo sites in the hopes that, for example, you would find a photo you're looking for and just jumped from side to side trying to find that specific photo to put, let's say, in your prototypes or in your uh, UI designs, which would just fit the right thing. But you just wanted one single source and maybe then you were forced to default into Google and search for Google. Well, I have some really good news for you because I found this little simple app, which basically basically pulls all those different free stock photo sources for designers like you and me, and it puts it under one hood. So as you can see in sources immediately, I have Unsplash, I have Startup Stock Photos, I have Splitshire, MMT, My Stock Photos, Foodshot, Pixabay, Pexels, and so forth. So there's around 50 different sources here, which you probably already have in your bookmarks. But hey, this is allows you to quickly jump into one of them. And this is basically allows you to quickly jump into that source, or you can just search and search through all of them at once. So for example, if I'm looking for something like a MacBook, it would just search throughout all the collections, all the sites, a MacBook photo, and then you would just need to do that detective's work to identify which of these photos is actually actually what you're after, for example, searching something like people, or even more specific, for example, a designer, and boom, you're getting a lot of different stuff. And if I look for something like plant, for example, as you can see, I'm going to get a lot of high quality pictures of specific plants. And I can immediately tell almost where the source is and from which site they actually got dragged in. But then I also can specify what color. So if I want only green, let's say, it's gonna intuitively try to filter out the green, the reds, the blues, and maybe this is the photo what I'm after to put it in my design, let's say. So my journey got shortened a little bit. And also I can see who's the author. I can see that it's under Creative Commons license. So I can use it, for example, commercially or not. I can download, I can favorite that. So it adds in my favorites. You can also have this thing what we call collections, which is basically in the app, you can name something like nature, for example, I can basically add that to my collection to the nature and now the plant will live there. So it's almost like a visual bookmarking tool as well to organize your photos for let's say later use. And for example, if I would put something like people, and then if this is a photo what I'm after, I can basically add that to my collection and then keep on adding those to different collections as I go. So I can keep keep it for later. So that's a pretty cool feature. And so it's very simple app, which allows you to quickly search for a specific photo. And then it pulls it from different sources in one feed, where you can then favorite add to collections, or just immediately, let's say just download the photo. And then that's completed. And you can use it, you know, in your design work. So it's nifty, super simple, exactly how the apps should be. So that designers like you can be empowered in let's say all the different design choices you make. And so without any affiliation, this app costs like a few bucks, but I think it's well worth to have it in your toolkit, especially if you look for photos, it might save a lot of time for you as well as allow you to collect all those photos and keep it under one hood. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so, and stay tuned for more nifty design tools and everything else about making and crafting great user experiences.